Hi everybody, this is Connie and I am here with a new project. I um, am doing this one all by myself because I really suck at doing things in a group. I found out. I did a project pan this, la this year, this last year, and flaked out. Um, depression gets the best of me, you know, uh, life gets the best of me, and I don't get it done. So I'm doing it by myself. So if I don't, if I miss a month or something, it's on me. It's, I'm not going to bother anybody else or hurt anybody else's feelings or anything like that. First, let's start with what I'm wearing today because I know I'll get some questions on that. Um, first thing I wore, oh my pop so I don't tip it over, is my spackle. I just don't feel like putting on foundation right now. Um, I haven't the last couple of times. I didn't feel like doing a get ready with me today. Um, I'm just in that kind of a mood. So I just used my, my spackle. It's got a little bit of a tint to it. It smooths things out, so I put up that on. And then for my, let's see, for my brows, I wore um, the Brow Stylist Plumper by L'Oreal. You know, I really like this one because I love the wand, and I love the spoolie on this. So, wore that, putting it away as I, as I pull it out. Um, I'm wearing my uh, Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I just love this. I really do like this mascara. I'm going to try the other ones that they have, too. Uh, but I, everybody says that's their favorite, and I can attest to it that I really like it a lot. Um, for, let's see here, for my brow, or for my eyeliner, I wore the Kat Von D. It's too small for me to read. It's just a mini, but I mean, really, that's all I need. I went ahead and sharpened it today, and it worked just fine. Um, I, I really like it. For my lip liner, I know I'm going out of order here, but I wore my Jordana in Cabaret. Really kind of pretty red one. This is the second lipstick I've had on. I did not like the first one, and it was a, what was it? Of course, no, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It was um, an Ofra in color 202. I just ugh, didn't like the color. I mean, it, it's really a red, but I, I really am not good at red lipsticks. I, although I really, I love them for filming, I just, I, I make such a mess of everything. Anyway, so I really like this formula, and I love the applicator on this. If I'm not going to have a tube, I like the applicator. This is the melted, Too Faced Melted in, I gotta get my thing, I cannot read without my glasses on. Melted Berry. And it's just so pretty. It really is a pretty dark color. And like I said, I really like the applicator on it. Um, for my highlighter, I wore ColourPop Wisp. I don't wear this very often. Um, and I used a different brush with it today. i got to say I kind of liked it. You can tell I've used it a little bit. Not a whole lot, though. Um... And it's really a pretty, it's a gold. And I'm more, um, or it's a goldy champagne color. And I like the champagne colors. So anyway, for my blush, I wore the Sephora Blushing For You in, I think this is soft, soft pink. The one I used was this one. And I just went through it with my brush all over. For my eyeshadow, I used my Modern Renaissance. I don't use this near enough, so I need to use it more. I used this for my um, all-over color, my base, which is Tempor Tempera. And then I used uh, Bajan Fresco. I know I'm saying that wrong, but this one, Bond Fresco, for my transition. Then I used... 
Venetian red for my outer corner and I, I use it right up until about the center of my lid. And then I used Primera, Primavera, the gold color, for my um, lid. And there it is. I think it turned out kind of pretty. I really like it a lot. Okay, so that is my makeup for the day. So now I can get on with my project. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this project Project Beauty 2018. And it's my project, mine alone, and I will let you know what's in it and I will show you everything. Okay, so my I've got 10 items on here. I was going to do two, 18 in 2018, but that's an awful lot. <laughs> so I will see how many I can use in a year. I've got 10 right now. As I use these up, I will um, exchange them for something similar and just keep going. So anyway, a facial moisturizer. And what I'm using is my number seven Restore and Renew Day Cream. And it's hypoallergenic sunscreen broad spectrum 15. And this is what it looks like. And I love this stuff. Okay, so I'll show you how much I've used and then I will take a picture of this every month. I really haven't used a ton of it yet, but I've used some. You can tell I've used some. I just, what I do is I just dip my finger in it. And, you know, it comes out on my finger here, and I put it in my hand. And then I um, mix my serum in with it, and I use that all over my face. So the next thing is a face serum, and I am using my number seven. I just actually started using this because I've had... I had a whole bunch of samples that I used. I had like um, over a week's worth of samples that I used first. And so I just started using this. And it is the Restore and Renew. I got to put my glasses on. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I can read this stuff. Um, Restore and Renew Face and Neck Multi Action Serum. Clinically proven, suitable for sensitive skin, which I've got. And this is for um, age 50 and up. But it's in this tube. Um, like I said, I haven't used a whole lot of it. This is what it looks like. Uh, whoops. Even just barely pushing on it, I get serum out the top, and I don't want to waste it. So what I do is I do maybe a dime size, um, if even that much, in with my moisturizer, I mix that up in my hand, and I use that all over my face. You know, I, I didn't want to go all out on um, skin care. So Lulu recommended that I mix my serum and my moisturizer together, and it works for me. That's the way I like to use it. So anyway, um, I am don't know if you're going to be able to see through this. I can see just on the top here, so I might mark that there and see how much I use. I use this five, probably five to six days a week. So, okay. The next thing is a face wash, and I am using right now my Olay um, Total Effects 7-in-1 Revitalizing Foaming Cleanser, and I use this in the shower, so I only use this a few times a week. Um, I shower every other day. So that means during my work week, I shower three times a day and then once on the weekend. Or three times a week and once on a weekend. Um, I'm a clean person, but I don't shower every day because my skin tends to get very dry. My um, hair, I only wash, I've, I've gotten down where I wash it twice a week. I'm, I'm still not very comfortable doing that because I used to do wash my hair every other day too. But, um, you know, just from hearing people talk that it's healthier for your hair if you only wash it a couple of times a week. When my hair was shorter, it got oily a lot faster. So I had to wash it at least every other day. But now I'm going, I wash it Mondays and either Thursdays or Fridays, one of the two. So um, I, I have two face washes, one when I shower and one when I don't. So I may put in both. I don't know. I may put in both. Hang on just a second. I'm going to go get my other one. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, on my Olay um, 
This is the Revitalizing Foaming Cleanser Revitalizes Skin for a Rejuvenated Clean. And right there is where I'm at. Um, I don't know how well my marks are going to hold up in the shower, but um, I will take a picture of this so I can tell where I'm at. This isn't going to show up really well on, on this dark, but I'm going to mark the front of that also. Okay, and then my other one for when I don't shower is, I just opened this one, it's Garnier, uh, Garnier Skin Active, the Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser. Gently foams to remove oil, impurities, and makeup for soft, healthy looking skin, all skin type types, even sensitive skin. And that is the whole reason I get this stuff is because um, it's for sensitive skin. So right there is where I'm at. And this is for when I don't shower. The other one is for when I do. So I will put both of those in. My next is a, a skin exfoliator, a face exfoliator. This is Neutrogena Deep Clean Gentle Scrub Oil Free Gentle Exfoliators Refined Skin Beta Hydroxy Formula Cleans Deep Down Into Pores for Soft Smooth Skin. I don't know, this must be a cleanser plus exfoliator, but I use the soap and then I use this. So, um, and this here got to make sure I do it on the front so when I take my picture is right there right there so um, as I use this stuff up then I will go ahead and I will um, replace them with something similar you know because I always use a face facial soap and I or you know facial cleanser and I always use an exfoliator and the exfoliator I use twice a week so Okay, and my next is a face mask, and I will use at least one face mask every week. And I will show you some of my face masks. This is my face masks. Look at that. I have got charcoal peel-off mask, seaweed sheet mask, sea salt mask, um, hydrating masks, uh, chocolatey clear cream mask, this cute one. How am I doing that? I've got eye masks. I have got foot masks. Two of those. I've got clarifying face face mask, animal koala mask, um, aqua power mask. I've got several of those because it was in a package. Um, vitamin C. I woke up like this uh, after the party. Yes to cucumbers. This is Monday to Sunday. There's, um, I think, six and one, one week's worth of masks in there. Um, elastic Q10. I have got charcoal mud mask. I have got Sephora's masks. Um, Sephora favorites, beauty unmasked. And let's open this up. Look here. Oops, something just fell out of there, but like that. So I will be using that too. What fell out of there was the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resistant. Um, what's this? I, I don't have, it's in Japanese or something. I can't tell you what that is. Charcoal ones are always the best, you know. Um, passion peel off mask. Oh, I've just got a ton in here. Put that one on the bottom. Put these back. So I will be using one of those a week, at least. I may use more than one a week. Who knows? Because I have so many. Might might use more than one a week. Okay, so for my makeup. Um, I've got them all in here. This is a little box that my son had sent me a coffee mug in years ago. And I just use it for odds and ends things. Okay, so. for I've got an eyebrow mascara. Um, 
and I'm going to use the Milani Easy Brow in medium brown. So I will use this once a week, always. For my mascara, I'm going to use, I have two of these, so I'm going to use one of these up, the, the um, Too Faced Better Than Sex. So one, one week I'll use this twice because I will have, I've got another one to use. So, okay, for my lip liner, I'm going to use the Clear Color in Mauve. For my blush, I'm going to use the same one that I had in my project pen last year. And that is T-Rose Milani pa or Rose Blush. And this is what it looks like. So you can tell that I've already, you know, the, the center rose petal is just about, just about gone. So I will take pictures of all of this stuff to let you know, so you know where I'm at on it. This is my um, Kat Von D, and it's getting a little old, so I want to use it up because it's an expensive lipstick. It's my Kat Von D um, in, I don't even know the name of this, Lovecraft, I think. Yep, Lovecraft. And this is what it looks like. I will use this once a week. Very pretty. so pretty and I don't use it enough so I want to use that once a week so I will take pictures of everything and I will um, insert them all at the end of this video and I will do that every single month I will take fresh pictures of everything and compare them to the the um, pictures that I have from last month so anyway, that is going to be my Project Beauty 2018. And this is my intro. I will still use everything this month. I will show you everything the beginning of the month and let you know how much I've used it. Um, you know, I, I won't have used a ton of it because we are already a week into December. But um, I just wanted to go over everything and make sure that I've got everything here. Yes. Um, Okay, so, so if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Let me know if you're doing a project pan and what you're doing. And I will talk to you next month. Bye-bye.